There's a greasy spoon just off the freeway, and a, it's pretty popular at lunchtime. Yeah, now it's not what's on the menu. That, that's pretty standard, but it's who's behind the counter. So photojournalist Peter Rosen paid a visit. I have a hoagie ready for you. She likes the hours. So like seven to three. The commute. Just a little walk, you know. And the pay. It starts out at $1.40 an hour. Really? I need a piece of problem and another fry. But there's something about the new job that scared Debbie Jensen. It's nerve-wracking. Jensen works at the Serving Time Cafe, because that's... Yeah, I need to order a tots, please. Exactly what she's doing. See, she lives... I've been coming to prison for 20 years. On the other side of that fence. I was a meth user for 23 years. I just kept on coming to prison for drugs. What can we get for you guys? Her boss, Carolyn Price, opened the restaurant seven years ago for Utah Correctional Industries. Basic, come to work every day. To teach. I didn't know how to bake. Job skills. I never baked a cake. Now Jensen's baking cookies. Mint brownies. Oh, I need three pieces of provolone, please. Do I need a tortilla, please? I need another order of fries, please. And today is working her first shift on the grill. She kind of throws us in there just to show us that we can do it. But here's what's really scared Jensen and other inmates. It just makes us nervous. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Customers. It's kind of weird interacting with society again. I've had one girl that she goes in the back room because somebody had actually talked to her when she first started and she's kind of hyperventilating. Going, Sometimes leaves them. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say, you know? Speechless. You lose a lot of words. There you go. We lose a lot of words in prison. Or maybe we're afraid that we're being judged. What bread do you want that on? Oh, wait, please. But I lines out the door and a few good words. I come in, oh, this place is great. Good food. Help the women realize. When somebody comes and tells them you've done a good job. They can contribute. Can I get another lieutenant, please, and another order of fries? We feel like we're a part of society again. High recidivism rates mean the odds are against Debbie Jensen's future on this side of the fence. I think the 10 years is... But time, she says... Changed my mind. <laughs> and family. And order fries and order tots and have a Reuben. Because my daughter's, thankfully, gave me a second chance. Are in her favor. If there's girls that get out and find jobs... Maybe, Carolyn Price hopes, a little grease... And a little ketchup. These girls have made bad choices. I mean, anybody can make bad choices. We'll make have a hamburger bun ready for you. All the difference. I need two more pieces of provolone, please. It's what you do about it is what makes the difference. Peter Rosen, KSL 5 News. Thanks, Peter. Now, to clarify, the Serving Time Cafe is open to the public for breakfast and for lunch. Pretty cool.